What's up? I'm Christina and welcome to my bedroom floor. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Jaw Roots Jaw Darts Liquid Distillate Delta 8 syringes. Um, it comes packaged like this. It comes with a one milliliter syringe and a tip. It's really easy to get started. All you do is open the package. Take out your tip and the syringe. This twists off and then sometimes it'll be a little sticky so you just pull it off, but this one was not. Take the tip, pop it on. Make sure you twist it on really good perfect. So now it's ready to use. You can usually just push this out without heating it up because these ones are a little bit thinner than some, but if you're having trouble getting it out, you can take a lighter and really quickly just... I don't know why my camera cut out right there, but what I was saying was you just light it really quickly with the lighter. Don't do it for a long time because you don't want to start melting the liquid just really fast. Or before you put the syringe on, you can dip it into water, warm water, or while you have the syringe tip on, you can dip it into wa warm water while you hold it. So those are three different ways that you can warm the liquid up. So the first thing you can do with it is vape it. What I have here is a wax vape pen. I'm just going to load it up by squeezing some of the liquid out. It's just coming right on out. it up. Super easy, super discreet. The next way you can do it is by dabbing it. I'm gonna show you how to do it with a nectar collector first. I like to take the back of a slick and load it up with just enough for one hit. Then you grab your torch and your nectar collector. And then you're just going to dab right on top of it. When I do this, I like to start on the side of the dab and work my way into it. Another way to dab it is with a dab rig like this. You get a banger and a bong. You get a dab tool, take your liquid distillate and put it, I like to put it on the back so it's easier to get off. Like that. Then you take your torch and you heat your banger up from the bottom. And when you wait a few seconds like that, sometimes you can reheat it and get another hit.
there are also e-rigs like this that you can use it in by placing it in the center of the, uh, the, I can't think of what it's called right now, bucket, in the center of the bucket. Just put a little bit of distill it in there like that. And depending on how your device works, you just pop something like this on, hit a button, <coughs> wait for it to warm up. Yummy. <coughs> I've seen these e-rigs running from anywhere from like a hundred bucks to like 400 bucks so if all those dab rigs are like too much for you definitely try something like this. Another thing you can do with it is cook with it however I am not going to do that because I am really nervous about doing it and I don't have that much of it right now um but if you guys would like to see a cooking video definitely let me know um until then there are numerous videos on YouTube of people showing you how to cook with liquid distillate just syringes these are some of my favorite ones and I also included a couple of bonus ones because they were really cool ideas so just hit them up uh for now but I am going to take you into the kitchen to show you how to do another thing with it. Okay, I have here with me my Pineapple Express Jaw Darts. This is a Sativa hybrid. Um, I only have like a little bit of it left. But you can infuse this in your hot coffee and it works really, really good. So we're going to make some coffee. Okay, so the coffee's done. The first thing I'm going to do is my little lighter trick to get the distillate easy coming out. And I'm gonna grab the hot coffee before I put anything in it, and this is going inside. Take a butter knife, stir it all together. Oh wow, I haven't tried doing this yet because I had just got them and wanted to wait until I did the video, but oh wow. It's got the faint taste of the Pineapple Express, but like it's ever so like an aftertaste. Mm, this is yummy. Okay, cool. Well, since this is a sativa hybrid in coffee, I'm definitely going to be energized and ready to get shit done today. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed checking out the different ways that I came up with for how you can use um, liquid distillate syringes. Um, I'll meet you back in the bedroom for one final word.
One quick word before I go. We love to have fun here on this channel and they love to have fun over at Jaw Roots, but I wanted to talk to you, well, we all wanted to talk to you guys about being cautious when you're eating liquid distillate or any form of dabs. While it can be done and it's not toxic, it's also not recommended because when you eat THC, it can be 10 times stronger than what you might be prepared for especially if you don't have a tolerance. If you don't have a tolerance, please, please do not eat these raw. Bake them into some sort of like food. Make butter, make coffee like I showed you guys, but only use like half of the syringe or a fourth of the syringe. Don't go jumping into eating the whole syringe at once. Um, if you are a more experienced cannabis user, by all means, do what you will do, but just be cautious that um, it is 950 milligrams of Delta-8 THC, and that can be a lot. Um, so that's all. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and have fun, and be safe.